How do you know if you might have cancer? There are screening tests to detect some common cancers. Active research is ongoing to develop more. This is extremely important since early detection is key to better prognosis and outcome. It is advisable for you to do screening tests when appropriate since many detect cancer early and are associated with lower cancer deaths. Some are recommended annually, while others every few years, depending on your risk factors. We will go over some common tests. Colonoscopy, sigmoidoscopy, and high-sensitivity fecal occult blood tests all screen for colon cancers. Mammograms screen for breast cancer. It's also helpful for you to do regular self-exams of your breasts for lumps or have your health professionals do clinical breast exams. A breast MRI is a more sensitive test for breast cancer. It is recommended if you are at a high risk of having inherited BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutations. A pap test for human papillomavirus tests for cervical cancer in women. Low-dose helical computed tomography screens for lung cancer. This test is more sensitive than a chest x-ray. It is recommended for high-risk individuals such as heavy smokers. Skin exams for growths or moles of bleeding or moles with irregular borders can be done by you or your doctor. This checks for skin cancers. Alpha fetoprotein blood tests can check for liver cancer in individuals who are at high risk. Different types of cancer affect different parts of your body and can show different symptoms. Some can be subtle. Some cancers may show no symptoms at all until they are well advanced. The key is to know your body and learn to be observant and aware of unusual symptoms, especially when they do not go away. Start a journal and record in detail how you feel and when. Such information is essential for many decisions to come. Some key signs to look for include unexplained weight loss or gain, feeling unusually weak and tired for an extended period of time, a thickening lump on or underneath the skin, discomfort due to eating and or going to the bathroom, a hoarse cough that does not go away, abdominal pain, and unusual bleeding when going to the bathroom. While some of these symptoms may be common for illnesses other than cancer, it's always advisable to see your doctor if ever you're concerned or suspicious about them. Diagnosing cancer at an early stage will give you a better chance for recovery. There are times when cancer diagnosis is accidental. For example, you could be visiting your doctor for a routine checkup, and he or she notices some abnormal signs or symptoms that you are unaware of. Or you could be getting imaging done for an injury or illness, and abnormalities are noticed. In these cases, Further testing is usually done to rule out whether cancer is in fact present. As we mentioned earlier, genetics seems to play a role in the development of cancer. If several of your family members have had cancer, it may be worth seeing your doctor to discuss your own risk and what you can do to minimize it. Based on your family's health history, genetic testing may be recommended to rule out a family cancer syndrome. Also, your doctor may recommend specific screening tests if you are at a high risk for specific cancers.